welcome back to New Year, New Game. This is where I attempt to play 365 games from my Steam library that I have never played before. This is game 293, Daymare 1998. Daymare 1998 is a horror game. It's a first person shooter. Let's just go to the Steam Store page. A third person survival horror game that recreates the mood of iconic titles from the 90s with a fresh storyline, an incident that turns a small town into a deadly zone. Three characters to play with and a little time to find the truth before its mutated citizens abruptly end your mission. It's a zombie horror game. We have to have zombie horror games in here, right? That's just a throat that doesn't seem like it'll ever go away. Along with vampires and werewolves and witches. Zombies is, of course, a horror staple. From things like Walking Dead to Night of the Living Dead. This is also an action adventure indie. Think of it more of Resident Evil like, if anything. So. Without further ado, let's get in the game. Oh, and before I forget, we need to add our chroma key filter. So that way my face doesn't block anything. There we go. Isn't that better? Also, I put up a black shirt in the background as cover to cover up just that one standout point from my dresser. And it now covers it completely. You can still see a bit of things from when I move my head to the eyes behind me and the red on my chair. But that's just gonna stay there. Now, let's get in the game. Hopefully I can use a controller. I can. Wonderful. I also need to mute the phone. Which I should have done before I started. Because I'm a professional. Classic 90s mode. Play the game as intended by the Invader Studios team. Welcome back to the real survival horror. Or modern take mode. Are you more confident with the new generation horror games? You'll react and run faster for a smoother combat gameplay. No magazines or double reload mechanics this mode. Shoot, kill, reload. Let's do classic 90s mode. So I'm thinking probably the first three Resident Evil games. Daymare, a hardcore mode that will make you hate the developers of Daymare 1998. If limited ammo and hard to kill enemies are your daily bread, welcome aboard. Normal. Are you up for a challenge but still value your life? Then this is the difficulty for you. Enemies and ammunitions won't fail to satisfy your bloodthirstiness, but you should always watch out for the Dark Lady. And then easy. You want to enjoy the story of Daymare 1998 without too many headaches? In this mode, surviving on the streets of Keensight will be a cakewalk. So load up your gun and suck on that pacifier, rookie. I think we'll do normal. In a manual aim mode. Sounds about right. Uh, brightness. Adjust the brightness until the image is barely visible. Okay, I see it now. Let me go one more. Let's do this one. Mission briefing, subtitles. I do want hood ammo. I don't want those inverted. 
Oh yeah, vibration. While the following is presented as personal opinion, doesn't mean to be medical advice nor in any way to be an endorsement of any of the treatments or items listed herein. Always consult a physician for all medical advice. This document can contain errors or omissions and should not take the place of licensed medical care. Several hours have gone by since communications with Aegis Laboratory has been cut off. Now, two teams of highly trained Hades, Hex Corps Advanced Division for Extraction and Search operatives, are called out to investigate. Their mission? Find the missing researchers who seemingly vanished without a trace and retrieve sensitive, highly classified materials for a clandestine branch of the U.S. government. Tasked with gaining access to the lower levels of the lab, Special Agent Levy barges into the Second Service entrance, and it is there that he discovers the security system has initiated a facility-wide quarantine, automatically shutting everyone in and serving as a warning to would-be invaders that some kind of experiment has gone horribly, horribly wrong. All that matters on the chessboard are good moves and the actions you take to achieve this result. What I do is bide in the shadows, where I can strategically exploit the most vulnerable pawns. But this time had to be different. This time, I had to involve my hand directly. But let's get things in the right order. So I began the first phase of my plan. Requesting the evacuation of all remaining personnel. Code Blue, repeat, this is a Code Blue emergency. Please respond, anyone, please. My name is Rebecca Jordan. I'm a doctor at the Aegis Medical Facility on the North Ball Islands. We have a problem of some magnitude here. There's a situation in the building that requires... There's been a terrible mishap. I, I think we get exposed to some kind of gas, a corrosive agent that latches onto the lungs, warping people. Chapter 1. That transmission from the last communication out of Aegis is laboratory 12 hours ago. The latest is the parameters are courtesy of our friends over at the DOD. It seems the corrosive agent in question is actually the same experimental gas you've been ordered to retrieve. Only problem is, they forgot to mention in the initial brief that it's also a new type of chemical weapon that kills almost everyone it afflicts. Rest assured, all entrances and exits to the building were automatically sealed at the first sign of a breach, which is standard security protocol when the mishaps occur. Your teams will infiltrate the facility as such. Epsilon, you'll enter via the central lobby on the second level, which serves as the main access point, and edge your way to the laboratory. Delta, you will simultaneously sweep through the lower levels where the main laboratory is located. According to our intel, the basement is where the so-called gas leak occurred, so proceed. Should the guard ask us first? Be advised, this operation status has been raised to priority red. Repeat, priority red. You all know what that means. This won't be the simple snatch and grab you were initially led to believe. Good luck, gentlemen. Now get in there to show us what you're made of. The hell is true in the House of Hades. HQ out. Priority red. You do understand that this assignment could be our last. Well, you know, if I were a betting man, I think I'd bet that the odds of, uh, making it home in one piece are, uh, a lot better with you on the battlefield. But that's if, you know, Gomer Pyle 
doesn't put us down first. Just shut the fuck up, Leaf. Goddamn motor mouth. Don't let him get to you, kid. That shepherd squawks that anyone with a bigger stick. Which is pretty much everyone. Never should have pulled his ass out that fire back in room in 94. Thanks, Hayden. Er, understood, Major. Damn it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should just let the past go. Romero Fort Gulf, this is HQ. We hold you on gadget and show you entering the airspace above the island. You should be within visual range of Aegis at any moment. Over. HQ, this is Sandman Action. In descent for November Foxtrot, India. Standing by for a mission go. Sandman Action, this is HQ. You are a mission go. Authentication Echo Gulf 394 at time 0227 Zulu. Out. We're mission go. This is the second blast one. And the end of the line for you, lead. Green will infiltrate the laboratory via the third blast one. After that, Raven and I will hold position at the external loading bay and remain on alert 5 to pick you rubber suckers up upon completion. At which point, we'll recoup on platform 2. Keep your comms clear as a precautionary measure. Over. Roger that. Comms clear. En route to primary objective. Over and out. Oh god, we're the guy in the gas mask now. They must have all had one. That one guy was just like, I like to wear mine now. It's a fashion statement. Wow, HQ you're slow. Here. Unlock codes received. We are remotely overriding the service access to Aegis Station. As explained during the brief, the data interchange device is still being tested for field use. Nevertheless, it will become your most important resource, allowing you to manage weapons, consumables, consult maps, health state, and above all, allow you to interact with any type of electronic device. Over. This tab contains all the consumables and key items that the character finds throughout the game. It also contains the character's weapons in the upper section. This tab contains all the information about the character's health stats and alterations. This tab contains the map of the area and information on the current objective. This tab contains all documents, ID tags, and audio files that the character finds throughout the game. Smartphone in the 90s, huh? A stamina bar. Yeah, it's hope. Sandman to Asian leave. Judging from the fragments of video we pull from surveillance, it appears that several tanks labeled CSR-3 have already been attached to the main hoisting unit. I'll say I'll stand by at the main doors to the freight elevator. Over. Liev here. Copy that. Objective confirmed. Looks like the contagion leaked out from a couple tanks crammed into the area. There are also sure signs of a firefight and explosive residue. Proceeding with the mission. Over.
Yeah, they got a little bit of flesh on it. It's about time you guys got here. You're with emergency response, right? That's right, Agent Liev. How's the leg? Oh, it hurts like hell. But I'll be all right. Can't move very far, though. That's unfortunate. Listen, I need to search this place for survivors. I'll come back for you as soon as I can. Survivors? Yeah, well, good luck with that. Anyway, I'll be waiting here. I just need to rest my eyes a little. That's promising. Quick weapon. Yeah, let's start off with a pistol. Aim. Shoot while aiming. Um. It's gonna make me shoot this guy. I can't move, by the way. He won't let me. Alright. So we had to shoot that guy. Uh, magazine quick slot. Press Y in order to perform the reloading action. You must first select the magazine from the quick slot submenu. Fast reload. Press X. The reload button. Once to perform the fast reload, the character will replace the current equipped magazine with a new one, dropping the former to the ground. The dropped magazine can be picked up at a later time. What is this? A slow reroll. Hold down the reload button to perform the slow reroll. The character will replace the current equip magazine with the new one, placing the former back in the inventory. Ammunition management. Oh, joy. From the items tab in the DID, it's possible to combine ammo boxes and magazines to refill the magazines itself. That seems absolutely tedious and unnecessary. I don't understand why we had to shoot that guy too. Leo to Mission Control, Sandman. I made contact with an Aegis worker. I followed the protocol. I'm now heading to the control room to begin loading procedures. Over. Copy that. This all brings back memories from 94. Especially that day, when you opened fire on all those poor, innocent people. Or what was left of them. Don't you remember? Orders are orders, Major. And those innocent people weren't exactly civilians. When you finally get your ass out of that chopper and onto the battlefield, we'll talk about it. Proceeding to objective. Over. Alright, let's go to objective over. fun down here. I'll have to restore power first. Yeah, just walk right over the dead body. What's the worst that could happen, right? Admiral's Diary. Admiral's Diary. Translated from Japanese. 8th of August, 1945. Honor. A word the Allied forces will never understand. Thousands of innocent souls in seconds destroyed by the U.S. atomic bomb. Not those of soldiers, not those of men who made a choice to fight and sacrifice themselves in service of our great nation, but those of the Pacific civilians who lived in those cities, now totally cancelled. Women and children... Our families are gone, obliterated by their desire for dominance, by the desire to show the world the strength of their science, the atomic bomb. But now, the time has come to show them the strength of our science. It took years of hardship to develop terrible weapons, but the worst we could imagine arrived simply by chance. We had chosen to keep the scourge. Or worse, discovery, the secret, because it was too inhuman even for Unit 74, 
where men were granted the luxury of releasing the darkness of their spirits. A weapon too inhuman even for war, but not too inhuman for those western people who lost all traces of honor with the push of a button. The men of this crew, the fathers and sons now deprived of their loved ones, have renamed it Shujin, the accommodation. The world literally works, and histories will remember the people behind the atomic bomb as villainous and blatant, a mass genocide that will tarnish their consequence forever. Oh, consciousness, forever. But this is not enough, not for us, not for the families they canceled in one second. Perseverance is better than defeat. The new emperor ordered that Shujin be spread over the enemy, a divine noiseless wind, but extremely lethal. Our condemnation will tear the hearts out and lead them on a path to the same suffering we are experiencing. We departed from Tokyo a few hours ago and expect a long journey to the American coast where the plague will be unleashed and the story of their science fiction novels will run its course. At this very moment, a second I-400 of the glorious Japanese Imperial Navy should be leaving Osaka, ready to deliver the second and last reserve of the plague to a top secret location in Germany. Unit 74 no longer exists, swept away by a 20 kilometer blast but its creation is more alive than ever, and it could still shift the balance of power in the world in our favor. We must do everything we can, and leave the rest to fate. Admiral Shinji M. The rest is eligible. Eligible. Health system. Rapid use quick slot. Press B in order to use an item. You must first select it from the quick slot sub menu. Hold B. Hold down to use an item button to use the selected consumable. Using an item will cause the character stats to temporarily change. Using an item may also increase the overdose value of the character when it reaches certain levels and start damaging the character over time. When the character is not affected by any changes to status, the overdose value will slowly decrease over time. What do we got here? An energy bar. No nutrition stats. I feel like all at once they're gonna rise. They're just waiting. Waiting for the activation moment. And then I'm gonna have to like shoot my way back out. show what breakers cargo area submarine shaft helipad access lab area control room reception deep center area server room secure 
security room, office areas, canteen dorm. No, I guess I gotta activate more than one, huh? How do I know which ones I'm supposed to activate? Is that what this is? SR, SR, SS, LA, C, R, C, A. Can't really see over there too much. C, A. SR would be server room, security room. Um, maybe that's an HA. Clearly something I have to do here. So the helipad area doesn't need to be activated. I think I need to write this down or take a photo of it. So that way I know which ones to do, because my memory, I'm not gonna remember which ones to pull. Too bad he can't really see it too easily from where we're at. There we go. Alright. The other question is where do you actually start though? Just the bottom, work your way up. Cargo area. Uh, CR would be a control room. would be lab area. SS. Submarine shaft. Uh, SA. Is there security area? SRs, security room, and server room, and then RH, reception hall. There we go. I told you it was gonna work. That was gonna cause the activation. Of the sound base, buddy. What the hell are these things? Da -da -da. Here we go. 
it had to do that. Yes. Let's go for the fun part. Isn't this fun? Oh, there's that walkie-talkie too. Forgot to use it in the other room. Oh well. Right. Open the roof first. How do I open? Probably back in this west area room. Alright, which one of you is waking up? This guy in here. One of you around here. No button in here to open it up. Dargo Bay is shown on the screen. Maybe it was that walkie-talkie thing in the other room. Let's go back.
anybody else gonna get up? You there in the elevator? What's it over here? What's it was back this way? Power fail detection, cargo area, manual restored, start the recovery process. Yes. Wait a minute. Agent Leak, Sandman here. The external bulkheads are opened up. Head back to the cargo bay and activate the freight elevator from there. Over. Might as well do this again, too. This fun part of combining the ammo. Joy. Gotta love that realism, though. Oh. There's something down below. It looks like a huge submarine with markings that resemble biohazard symbols and... Could the flag really be Japanese? Focus on the mission, Agent. I don't care what titter-ridden cow curdles the milk those pasteurizing big shots call us in to mop up. Time is running out. Get your ass on the objective. Over. Let's see. Do you think you should switch to this? It's just that without aiming. It takes three headshots. Four headshots. Wow. Some tough zombies. Oh, that one definitely noticed me. This guy really notices me. sure we're over 30 minutes. Yeah, 40. Not really worth it to go over any more than what's already been over. Uh, but yeah, that is Daymare 1998. I want to point out too that I'm not a fan of horror games. So, when it comes to my opinion of a said horror game, know that it's coming from an opinion of a person 
who does not like horror games. There are some zombie games that I did enjoy playing, such as Dead Rising, where you're in the shopping mall and you're just attacking waves after waves of zombies. That kind of had more of a silliness to it, though, instead of a dark, serious tone, like the Resident Evil games do and like Daymare here does as well. Uh, for those who are fans of horror games, I would not doubt that this is a fun game for you. And I pretty sure it's going to have a very interesting story to go along with it. Um, it is inspired by 90s horror films and horror games. So I'm sure you'll see a lot of love letter to Resident Evil and Silent Hill, which were big horror games in the 90s, from what I remember. I'm not sure how big Parasite Eve was back then. And even if that qualified as a horror game and not just like an action kind of game. But, uh, yeah. Would I play this game again? Absolutely not. Not only would I not play this game because it is a horror game and I don't like horror games, I'm actually pretty scared of horror games. So, uh, yeah, would not play this game again. Uh, the comb combining the ammunition, that sort of thing with the magazine stuff, is just... It's dumb. I think it's stupid, but I also think it's supposed to add to like the survival horror aspect of it, because if you're not combining ammunition into your clips, and you run out of ammo when you have zombos coming and walking towards you, it's over. So, uh... I guess that just kind of adds to it, but it's it's not a, a feature that I enjoy. And not being able to see that monitor too well, too, that was a pain. Also, maybe that's good for people whose short-term memory isn't complete garbage like mine is. But yeah. Anyways, that's going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next spooky game. Goodbye.